Welcome friends to another edition of War Robots Test Server. This is November 13th and 14th, 2021. Alright, so uh, we'll introduce you some new things in this test server. First of all, there's a nuclear amplifier. Uh, and the new drone iron herd that looks like a flat iron as you can see what the uh, iron herd will do is it will uh, resist or protect me from freezing blast effects so no extra damage from blast rockets such as incinerator scald or scorcher and no extra damage from cryogenic weapons such as a glacier the cryo and rhyme. Right, so here let's look for an enemy and uh, try this out. Okay, teleport the revenant. Alright, there's also the repair amplifier. The more damage that I take, the more regeneration repair bonus I will get. As you can see, I'm getting a repair. It will repair all of the blacked out portion, and then at some point, when all the repair that is being done, the blacked out portion is done, it will start repairing some of the gray and provide a defense bonus as well. Stacking more repair amplifiers will get you more repair. Uh, more speed of repair, it'll repair faster. But it won't, won't repair you more than one will, just repair you faster. Also, there's been improvement in the aiming, which has been a constant complaint in this game, I've been told. It'll center, it'll concentrate on the center targets rather than jumping around to the outside of the center. And that I think is a good way of dealing with it. I think that another way to improve the targeting would be to focus on enemies in, that are closer to you in the foreground rather than in the background or behind uh, obstacles. Wait, right, now the Fujin has also been buffed as well in the past when it was moving the uh, oh sorry when the shield was on it could move it had to be st still but now when the shield is on it can still move but it is only an energy shield it is not a, a shield against energy weapons so the more powerful option would have been to give it an Aegis shield as well as letting it move while the shield is active but that might be too powerful for beginner leagues so maybe that's why uh, Pixonic didn't do that okay so we have the repair amplifier on this uh, robot as well and here we have the energy uh, the freezing energy plasma weapons skatey <laughs> the aiming seems to be improved. It uh, centers. The, it, it concentrates on enemies in the center of the screen. Okay, let's get that uh, shell. Also, the repair amplifier in action. Let's take a look. I have these uh, toxin venom weapons, very powerful, very useful. They travel faster than the flames. They seem to do a lot 
good damage as well. So notice that the uh, aiming is staying near the center, not the periphery of the screen. Which Pixonic would also focus on enemies that are closer uh, and not behind obstacles. Because normally you'd aim at robots that are in direct line of sight, not behind obstacles where most weapons can't fire. Right, last robot, the Orochi. And then there's a, also the, the Titan, the Kid. I don't believe there's a repair amplifier in this one. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing, it helps me a lot bring out this video and the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more people to suggest that they view. So please hit the like button, please consider subscribing. Alright, lastly we have the did, uh, no special Titan uh, additions to this test server, however. Just the machine gun weapons uh, on this kit. Some bad lags here in this test server. I'll have to make a mention of that. Going to full action here. So many lags here in this test server. Okay, I'm in phase exile now. Okay, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, that's it. I'm going to leave the battle. That's the end of uh, the test, test server gameplay. Hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you very much for joining in and watching today.